Hi everybody, my name is Enrico Pugliese. Today I'm here to introduce you to my uh, product line of fibers uh, that will allow you to uh, pretty much have a fun time flies. Not only my flies, the fly I created through the years, but also any other flies that uh, it will work for you. It's good to experiment is good to create it is good to have your own idea when it comes to flies i believe in that i know there is many talented out there uh, that can do a fantastic work with this uh, fibers i've created through the years and i'm sure there will be many more out there that will have a lot of fun and come out with some terrific uh, new patterns I just want to go over one by one and give you an idea of what I use them for. So, and then from the point on, it's up to you, of course. Uh, I originated uh, on the late 80s, early 90s with EP fibers, which this is the original one. Uh, when I first started, I had, a, I believe, a, not even 20 colors. Today, I'm offer. Uh, 63 colors just on the regular fibers. This is basically my uh, bread and butter fibers for my flies. Um, I use the fibers these two flies up to 5, 6 inch top. So above that they, uh, the fibers has the tendency to be a little bit too soft for the that kind of a flies up to I should say 7, 8, 10, 12 inches. Um, several years ago, I came out with this blend of the fibers, which basically are the same EP fibers. And these are the blended fibers, which I called it the 3D. It will allow you to create pretty much any of the um, uh, bay fish pattern out there. Um, and you basically can go crazy with it you have a pretty much covered over here. So in other words, I did the work for you, created the blended, uh, so you don't have to worry about it. Let's say if you want to tie uh, a mullet, you have the mullet blend. You want to tie a, a peanut butter, you have the blend for the peanut butter, so forth and so on. After that, we have the ultimate fibers. The ultimate fibers are a blend of three different synthetic these are uh, uh, stiffer fibers than the regular EP fibers, you know, much stiffer. And the length of these fibers are 12 inches. So if you are on those uh, huge flies, especially when it comes to pike and musky or any offshore big flies, this is my choice of fibers. I have the length, I have the stiffness. A uh, couple of years ago, I came out with this uh, 3D mineral fibers, which is, uh, this is again is another a blend of uh, three different fibers, and these are stiffer than the regular EP fibers. Uh, this is my choice when I do tie those fibers around uh, any way above uh, six inches. And for those of you that uh, are tying a closet type of flies this is my recommendation to you he has everything you need to the stiffness and also you know the uh, the way actually these fibers will move and act into the water and then we have the silky fibers the silky fibers are a much uh, uh, thinner diameter than fibers and much more supple uh, the silky fibers will act in the water like a marabou. And uh, we have the actually, see, it's worse than marabou, let's put it this way. It has much more um, movement into the water. Generally talking, I do use this for small flies, anywhere from an inch to two inch, two inch and a half. So that's my choice for those kind of fibers. Same thing I did with the silky fiber, the 3D. I blended the colors on the 3D. I basically had the same silky fiber as the blended colors. And then we have this uh, EP Trigger Point International fibers. These fibers actually were created 
for uh, trout fishery. Uh, me and my good friend of, uh, from Australia, uh, Nick O, and one day we got together and said, why we don't do something for the uh, trout family, let's put it this way. And uh, I said to Nick, I don't know really much about trout. Say, said, well, you know, let's do this together, you know, and uh, that's how we got started. Uh, Nick is uh, really full of knowledge when it comes to trout flies and uh, of working together we came out with this blend of uh, uh, silky fibers, blend that, call that will cover any of the uh, mayflies uh, worldwide and the fibers are treated with a floodant and they really flood like a cork. And then we have uh, the, the, the stream of brush with the micro legs. Uh, it's a blend of uh, combination of the EP fibers and silky fibers. Uh, again, I blended the colors I intro put together with uh, the micro legs inside. You've been seeing me working with it and a lot of action. You can create uh, many patterns with it and I know you like them. And then we have the sparkle brush, which nothing else than simply than uh, the EP sparkle in a brush, so many uses. And after that, we have the streamer brush and short fibers. Uh, same blend they use it for the streamer brush, but the length are about uh, half inch excellent to do any small crustacean pattern and as well the fresh water that's for sure and then I have my stream dubbing brush uh, the name it says it all and stream pattern is the brushes and as well the regular dubbing stream it's your choice or whatever you rather you know use it if you are comfortable doing loops, uh, you can use the stream dub. If you don't want to bother with it, you go ahead and wrap around, and here they are, the brushes.